Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Plan With Me slash new release video. So I wanted to make something special for the PBC sale because um, it's kind of towards the end of the month and we don't really have anything new. All the new releases came out at the beginning of April. So I want to do something special. And I really, really wanted to see Leafy. I don't know. Ever since the um, Coco Daisy Cowboy one came out, I kept thinking about making a little cow onesie for Leafy. And then... We went out to eat with the kids again the other day, and my little monkey butt, Raina, her, like, go-to is chocolate milk. Like, you cannot not get her chocolate milk whenever we go out. You just can't. And her other favorite thing is strawberries. And so I was like, leafy, cow, strawberry, chocolate, perfect. So I created this, and it just kept going. I kind of got out of control with the amount of things that I made. So what I'm going to do is also show you some of the other planners that I used it in, um, my micro planners. I'll show you what I did with that. I'll show you what I have left over and what I used. So that'll give you an idea of how far you can stretch this. And then we will jump into a plan with me in the standard vertical 7 by 9 So let's just go over everything that I made. And tell you what's happening with the PBC sale. So there's tiered freebies and there will be a graphic up that'll have all of the tiered freebie stuff, but it'll be similar to UPS. So the UPS sale, um, if you look at that graphic, you'll get kind of an idea, but kind of replace the things in that one with this one. So one of the things is the everybody freebie. So that'll be this one. So every order during the PBC sale, it says PBC sale right up on the top. Um, we'll get one of these. So you'll already get a bunch of smaller deco, which is stinking adorable and can go pretty far. And then everybody will get one of these. So there's three different choices. It'll be totally random. All three of them are stinking adorable, but you'll either get leafy, buttons, or lily. So there's that. And then this is the over 50. You get this. And then I have brought these out <laughs> because if you look on the UPS graphic, you'll see that this is a combined, and it says the same thing at the top, over 50. So you'll get this, plus there's a combined with a half of this is my top three, and the other half is to do this, but I'm out of them because they all went out in the UPS ones uh, that I had made up. But these are also, I'm <clears throat> so sorry. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Allergy season, guys. Allergy season. It's sunny outside. I don't know if you can tell. Hopefully, I've got it blocked enough to where you're not going to get a whole bunch of sun rays in here, but it is a gorgeous day outside. It just came in from cleaning up the front yard. Anyway, that's a whole nother subject. So I have these available in the shop right now. You can find these by themselves. So you can find a top three and to do this, but the freebie not freebie, but the tiered freebie, over 50 freebie, has these two together. It's a half and half sheet plus this. So I don't know. There's other stuff on there, but you'll have to go and look at the graphic once I get it up because I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what I did last month, last sale. I don't know. It's all becoming a blur. Everything kind of goes together. When you make a mistake and you apply to two different sales in the same month, being positive that you're not going to get into one of them because the chances are very low for you to get into that sale. And that happens to be this one, the PVC sale. It took me years to get into my first one and then to get into another one is like, I am just over the moon excited. I, you just have no idea how excited I am to be in this sale. So another reason why I wanted to do something special, but I got into both of them and it's been just an absolutely crazy month. I'll kind of explain some of that during the plan with me so that we have some shit. Sorry, a swear word came out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some stuff to talk about during the play with me. Anyway, let's get into these collections. I, you guys know I don't. I try not to swear very much unless I'm like super excited. And sometimes it just slips out. And I'm just excited. I just, I absolutely love this collection. I had so much fun playing with it. And it just makes me, it makes me smile every time I look at it. I'm actually thinking about getting um, this one made into a pin. So the Plague Doctor pins came in, and I'll show you a little sneak of that one, but the Plague Doctor pins came in today, and I just think this would be stinking adorable as a pin, and I would totally rock this. So I might make this one into a pin because I'm very impressed with the manufacturer and how good of a job they did on Plague Doctor uh, buttons. So I'll show you that. It's in one of my planners, but would this be cute as a pin? I think it would be adorable. So I'm thinking, thinking about it. Anyway. It just makes my it just makes me smile when I look at it. So you have a week's kit. I didn't do any monthlies because this just didn't seem like a monthly thing, but here's the washi for the week's kit. And then I'm hoping that you can see this okay. I'm like standing on my tippy toes trying to look inside the camera to make sure that we're in focus. But if anything is out of focus, I apologize. I'm trying to get you the truest colors possible so there's no brightness filter on here. There's nothing changed on it so that you can get the truest possible colors of this kit because it is very chocolate strawberry it is like perfect 
Okay, and then this one here, which is like all your little extras and your icons and stuff. Then we'll get into the, so I also made a cousin, obviously made a cousin kit. Here's your page one. I love these. I love these so much. I almost want to make them into a whole sheet of them like this. I'm kind of thinking about it. It's still early enough where I think I can probably get away with it. If you guys are not sure, the PBC sale actually starts on the 26th, if that's that Friday. Yeah, on the 26th. So I'm going to try to put it up so that you don't need a code and all the graphics will be up on the top of the Etsy shop so that you'll be able to see like the freebies up there. You'll be able to see like what the percentage off is and all that kind of stuff. But I need to make that graphic still. So I'm going to try to figure out how I can get that in there. And then this is your last page. So if you're familiar with the Cousin Kits, I try to give you enough stuff to make it last for two weeks, but I will show you what I did with it because I used it in a couple different places. So there's that. Then I made this because I needed it for the micro planners and I thought this would be perfect. I'll just show you what I did with this. So there's a giant deco sheet. So you've got all of the little characters. Let me see. I feel like the it's dark because it's doing that thing again with the sun going in and out. So hopefully you can get the good colors here. We'll see. But there's the deco and then there's washi sheets. Since this was like a last minute, I obviously didn't have time to make washi rolls to go with it. That might be something that I add in the future because I just love this. I love this whole collection as washi. I just think it's really, really cute. So I might do this later in washi rolls like I did with the birthday and the winter one. We'll see. We'll see what I need to do. So there's those. So you can pick those up or and then we'll get into the standard vertical, which is all discombobulated because I was messing around with it. It's going to be out of order. I don't know how I. OK, <laughs> it's still going to be out of order, but you get the idea. Here's all the full boxes. Here's the page two of the full boxes and the washi. And then this is the end of it. But you get the idea. You can see all the pages. I'm pretty sure that if you're here, you're very familiar with my setup and how I have an eight page kit. Unfortunately, um, I had a question the other day and I wanted to kind of address it here because I feel bad. The mini kits just didn't do well. And so I got rid of most of them. You might be able to find some mini kits kind of in the back with some old artwork that I haven't really gone through yet, but I don't really put out any four page kits anymore or even the six page kits because they just don't sell. To be honest, you guys are either an all or nothing. So you're either in the weeks or the cousin or the standard vertical and that's what you like and that's what you want. And so that's what I keep in the shop. I try not to um, deviate from that too much because it just makes extra work for me and you guys don't buy them. So it's like not really worth it. So anyway, I just wanted to address that. You're probably never gonna find stuff as mini kits unless something changes in the future. And if you get a big old eight page kit and you're not a no white space planner, you can stretch this out, especially like I know, I jump, I jump back and forth between planners. I'm telling you guys, one minute I'm in this thing constantly, the next minute I don't touch it for weeks and then I'm in the cousin, then I'm not. It's just like, I'm all over the place. So I totally get it. Sometimes you just do weird stuff. And then I made these and <laughs> they are so wonky guys, but I love you. So just, just deal with it. Just deal with it. I tried to put these all on. So when I designed it, I had my little ruler out. Let me see if I could find it. I was using one a little while ago. I, was gonna say. I had my little ruler out and I'm measuring these little guys trying to figure out exactly. Okay. Perfect triangle, a little bit smaller. It took me forever to design these little suckers, but I thought they'd be super cute to use on the corners of these are the planner corner clips. So you just put them on like this. But one of the things I didn't realize when I was making them, look at how cute the little packaging is too. I decided to make packaging for it. Um, it's not that easy to put them on straight. <laughs> so some of them are, let me put this focus on. Some of them are a little wonky, but you know, that's how you know I did it. I made it, it's me. Some of them are a little crooked, but you know what? Made with love, right? <laughs> That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. So these will be up in the shop as well. I don't have a ton of them because I did, obviously didn't make a ton of them. Um, but it was kind of an experiment to see if it was something I wanted to make in the future with other kits that I think are cute enough to make into clips, but they're double-sided. So you can use either side, whichever one is less crooked. You can use whichever one's less crooked. So I have those. Then I'll show you what I did. So this is the weeks. I'll bring up the weeks so you can see it. I know. There goes that sun again. Ugh, it's just gonna, <laughs> it's just gonna irritate me. 
I need to get that shade. I keep talking about buying the shade and I never buy the shade. And then I do things early and it's just a mess. So this is how the week's kit came out. And you can see that I have like, I do a lot of layering and I like to lay down my week's stuff early. Actually, I like to lay down all my stuff early because I'm the type of person that takes my planners on the go. And I just throw my planner in my bag with my little bag of, where is it? I can show you it because it's right here. I'm still in the strawberry bag, but I want to switch over to the honey bag from some little things because look at how big this sucker is. <laughs> All the stuff that I carry with me. And so this is the strawberry bag from some little things. And um, like I said, I just got the honey one. I did that in that uh, little unboxing that I did. I think I'm going to switch over to the honey one and then move, move no, no over to that one. But look at how much stuff. Anyway, I throw this, my planners, and I go. And that's it. And there's always washi in there as well. I just don't have it in there right now because it's all in its proper place. But when I get ready to leave, I also throw washi tape in there. So that is why I set my stuff up early. Um, and this is like a few hours of just sitting and playing with stickers. And it's like the best time ever. So anyway, that's what the week looks like. Let me put that away. Gotta make some space. Then this is what the cousin looks like. So this is how the, let me back you out just a little bit so you can see the whole thing. So this is how the cousin looks. And the cousin kit had a ton of stuff left over. Here's where the my top threes and the to do's go. I love using them in here because that's all I really want on every day. The only thing I need, the rest of it is just filler. Sometimes it's memory keeping, sometimes it's lists, it's household chores, it's things like that. For the, but this right here is the, I got to get this crap done today, no matter what. Like this is the not negotiable, this stuff has to get done today. So, and this will change depending on what planner I'm using. Like I said, I'm in and out of planners all the time and I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad if I'll go weeks without touching it and then I'll hop into it, which is why I like doing undated planners, but this one's dated. So this one's kind of a little different. This is my Aura Style A5. So anyway, these will go into whatever planner I'm using that week. I do this. And that's like my most important things that have to get done that day. So this is how this one came out. And like I said, there's enough for you to do. See how I'm not using a ton of stickers here? If you don't do what I did, there's a ton of this leftover to use in other planners. So in the week's planner, I had stuff left over. I had these left over, I had these, I had these boxes, I had all these little dots left over. So I brought those into here and now this is all I have left from the week's kit. Let me see. There was one more page, but I actually think I threw that one away because it was completely empty. Yeah, I did. This is all I have left from the week's kit because I brought over stuff from there to finish it out in here. And then you'll see what I did with the rest of the cousin kit. So I wanted to show you what I had left over just so that you can see how far you can stretch these kits. So there's the cousin. Now let's put this guy away and move on to, how about the A6? So in the A6, no, actually let's do this one first because this one has the, this one has the pin in it. So this is my passport. Again, it's another one of those ones that I just throw in my bag and go. And there's, <laughs> there's the buttons. There's the buttons pin. Hopefully you can see it really well. And then on the other side, it's magnetized. So you can put it pretty much anywhere you want. So you don't have to poke holes in anything. You could put it on a cover. You could put it on one of these covers. You could put it pretty much anywhere. But that's that. And that will come out with this collection. So when this collection releases to the Etsy shop, these buttons will be in there. So these pins of Plague Doctor buttons. How's that? Anyway, let's get this out. So that to the side. And then, so in my passport, I used the washi, the deco, two of my little washies that I like to use, the black and whites, which I have a ton of them. So I just picked a couple that I thought were kind of neutral to go with this. I used those. And then for the dates, let me show you where we're at. So for this one, I used Mushi Village, which is coming out. It won't be it won't be up in the shop by then, but I'm just showing you what I used in here. So by the time you get this order, ordering on the 26th, by the time you get this order, the subscriptions will be out and these will be out. So you could grab them if you really wanted to. But these are the date dots and the date covers from Mushi Village. And those are in here. These are the date dots from Herbology. They are also already on the shop in the shop. So you can already find these. But if you look, these colors would work too. So there's also date covers in these in Herbology. So if you pick up the date covers and the date dots, if you wanted to do this same thing that I'm doing, you could pick up the Herbology one and these would match because these are 
the colors you can see it'll match very nicely but if you wanted to wait to pick up the date dots i mean the days of the week and the date dots you could do you could totally use these colors with this kit and it would work so anyway i just wanted to show you what i used in here and then this is pages so this is just me taking washi top and bottom and some of the deco from the big deco sheet and i went all the way through the entire week and then that's the end so the whole week is set up and not just this one we did the a6 as well so in the a6 i pulled in some of my leftovers from the cousin so that's why i'm like showing you all of these just so that you can see that you can really 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 stretch your kits if you oh oh hold on dangerous weapon just fell on the floor my washi cutter <laughs> so in this one it was kind of a combination of things so see this is from the cousin kit more of the deco and the washi from the washi from the washi pages and the big deco page that's where these are i also used stuff from here so there's some of these guys are in here this is the over 50 sale thing again cousin kit washi from the washi page just like this is from the cousin kit and then this page is the washi from the actual cousin kit that's from the cousin kit just pointing these out all these todays are from the cousin kit and then that's where it ends so i got pretty far and i'll show you in here you can see i used a bunch of these guys so i used a whole bunch of that this is completely gone i used every single one of the deco and then in the cousin kit this is what i have left between the washi and the cousin kit so i've got that i've got that this is washi washi see i was almost all the washi I used a lot of this so instead of using it for a whole nother week in my cousin i decided to spread it out through my mini planners just and that's it i just wanted to show you these before we get into the actual plan with me because i thought you know might get some ideas and i love this kit <laughs> I love this artwork so much. I could use this all over the place, all over this, all over. I also use these. Um, these were the colors that I could find. So these are Free Color Spot. It's a Japanese brand, and I got these on um, Amazon, and I got a whole stack of them. So these are the dot ones. So when I'm doing like bullet journaling, I could do the dots, but on the other side, it's got a pen. So I use the pen to draw those lines in the A6. I just wanted to show you that these colors are what I also used in the A6 and where I got the pens. And yeah, so now let's get let's get into the plan with me. I know all that, and now we're finally gonna get into the plan with me. Let me move the non plan with me stuff out of the way. Okay, let me put these kits will go away, all that stuff will go away, and now we can plan. Let's plan. All right, so this is the week of let me grab my calendar so i can make sure i have the right week up monday the 22nd so this starts the 22nd through the 22nd through the 28th and you know in these kits if i can get them all on untangled you have date covers so also if you have a standard vertical and you pick up extra stuff you can use the date dots from this because you only need seven of them so you've got plenty of other weeks that you could pull from as well without having to pick up anything extra i'm just putting these in kind of in somewhat of an order okay washi and date covers let me make sure you're actually in frame because my camera's all sideways now i have to have it on the side of the in order to do reels which I set this whole thing up different so that I could do reels because I promised I was going to get better at doing them and I have added a lot of reels like a lot of them for me but um yeah I had to reset up my whole desk and now I feel all weird it's all weird because it's not where it's supposed to be above my head it's actually attached to the desk and kind of sideways so it gets in the way and but I can see in it, if it's not on my tippy toes, I can see inside the, the lens so I can see if we're in focus or not. And this is, we're getting to the end of this planner. So hold on one second. I just need to put something. Let's see if this will raise it up high enough. Oh, that's very round. Hold on a second. Yes. 
disaster. I am a disaster. This is probably high enough. Just need to lift it a little bit so I'm not fighting with the coil. That's better. There, are you still in camera? Yeah, okay. This makes it easier than this. these big coils. It's the only, the only part about having this type of planner that sometimes I wish I had like the disc kind so I could just do like Brandy does and just pull my pages off, do my thing and then put them back so I can move it around a little bit easier. But I don't know. I just have a hard time with those disc planners. I f they feel so not steady, I guess. That's the best way. Best way to say it. And it's definitely not friendly for throwing in a backpack. That's for sure. Okay, there's that. And then the washi at the bottom. This one down here. So this planner, no white space. I always like try to cover every inch of it. Hence why I make eight page kits is because if you are a no white space planner, you are going to love this layout. And if you're not, you're going to have plenty of stickers left over to put in the other planners. I know you have. I know. I know you do. You can't tell me that you don't because we all have more than one planner. If you're a planner girl or a planner guy, you've got more than one. You've got your journal. You've got your micro planners. You've got your house planner. You've got your kids planner. You've got your school planner. You've got all the planners. So you've got plenty. And I'm going to do my halfway, my halfway box. I think the washi in this came out so cute. So cute. I had so much fun drawing this kit. You have no idea. Like usually it takes me a really long time to draw something out. That's why I start so early. Like, but I do a lot of detailed stuff, like a lot of detailed backgrounds and whatnot. So it's kind of nice when I can just like have fun and do this where I can just put them on a background, like a fun little background and not have to do like a whole scene in the background and stuff. I can just put it on paper and you know like digital paper it goes so much faster and it's so much fun and i might start doing the subscriptions that way i don't know tell me what you think if you're a subscriber if you if you get the the kits that you the subscription kits is this a style that you would like like doing this because this is much easier for me and i think i could do them a lot night like i could come up with a lot more fun things if i wasn't spending so much time on the backgrounds or are the backgrounds like what you love about it if if it is that's fine i can keep doing it i do enjoy drawing them just not at breakneck speed which is sometimes how i feel like i'm drawing like i haven't even started drawing the camping kit yet <laughs> because i just finished like i did everything so early with mushy village that i haven't even started drawing that yet which is kind of a problem. I got to get it done. So once I start drawing the camping one, I did do the base six. Like I have some of the backgrounds done and stuff because I had to for the washi in order to order the washi. So some of it's already done, but I still have a lot more to go. And that is the one that's coming out next. So just after Mushi Village, it's the camping one. And after the camping one, it's Disney Snacks. And after Disney Snacks or Disney Adventure, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, it's done. It's already done. Now I'm stuck. This new paper that I have is not as forgiving when it comes to picking it up off of the paper. And I'm not sure that I'm in love with it, so I may not order any more. But right now I have a ton of it because I placed a pretty big paper order. So I got to get through what I have first, and then I might go back to my, my old one. I'm not super thrilled with this paper. I mean, I love the print quality. It's fantastic. It's the cutting that's hard. If you look at it, see this shiny? I don't know if you can tell. See that shiny background? Um, that's the problem, is that cutting that, uh, sometimes it doesn't like to cut it. And then other times, uh, the other problem with it is the printer doesn't like it. So I'll be printing, you know, 50 copies of something, and it'll pull like two or three sheets at once. It'll pull that through and then destroy three sheets. And it's just like, because it doesn't want to catch this shiny stuff is too slippery. That's the only thing I can think of. Like that's got to be the reason why it's giving me so much trouble. 
yeah, anybody that's ever used a printer, you know how a printer works and how it grabs the paper and pulls it through. When it's grabbing three sheets at once and trying to print on all three, you can imagine the not good quality printing that's happening. Okay, so over here, oh wait, you know what? Let's go to, let's find these guys right here, those guys right here, and my, let's do the sidebar, let's do the sidebar. Let's quit, let's quit messing around and do the sidebar. We have a ton of these guys, so I'm gonna put these in between on the sidebar. So one, two, Good three for now. And I think I'm gonna do the milk one, <laughs> the one with the chocolate milk. Um, anyway, I was saying before about this whole collection and stuff is that, like I said, um, I want to do something special for PBC. And so that's where this came up. But there's another collection that my daughter just finished. So also during the PBC, but I don't have it for you yet. I will, I promise, I will. Um, and I will put I will put that one up on Instagram so you will you guys will definitely see that kit as soon as it comes out as soon as I'm done formatting it I will put it up on Instagram and that is the 90s cartoon my daughter finished it and guys it is so stinking cute it is probably I'm kind of partial to Courage the Cowardly Dog <laughs> anyways I mean it is one of my favorites but at the same time um I don't know. He's just so cute. He's just so stinking cute. I love him so much. And that's the, it's called Nowhere. And if you're not familiar, if you're just a 90s kid and, and you watched it, you know what Nowhere means. That's where, that's where the whole show takes place. Um, yeah. And it's stinking cute. It is adorable. I don't know what to put here. I don't know what I want up there because I don't really have any other, tr well, maybe I could put another track. Oh, I know what I'll do. Yeah. I'm tracking my treadmill. I've been doing the treadmill. So we'll put that one up here. And I'll do that one for the treadmill. So I got one bill due. I got my medication and my treadmill. Sidebar, done. And it looks stinking adorable. I love it. Okay, and then I don't really have any quotes to go with this. We need some chocolate strawberry quotes. If you've got any. If you got any ideas, drop them down below. And I will quickly make them into a sheet in time for the sale on the 26th. I'm going to put my top threes and um, I'm just going to use these because, just because, instead of wasting my other ones. The other ones I like to use in the other books, like in my A6 and in my my um, cousin, these. I like using these in here. We can put that one there, and then I'm just gonna put one on each one. So how you how is your spring going? Mine is going very cold. <laughs> Today is one of the nice days. Like we haven't had too many of them this spring so far. I'm sure it's coming. Like pretty soon I'll be complaining that it's too hot and oh gosh, and I can't wait for fall. But for right now, it's still a bit chilly, and I'm kind of curious because usually by this time of the year these I have these gorgeous gigantic bushes out front they're actually kind of like a privacy wall um during most of the year except in the winter when they lose all of their leaves <laughs> and then they are just like look like dead bushes out front but anyway they are not they haven't started to come back yet and I'm a little worried that they died because they feel a little dry too like there might be something might be something going on there and I'm, I'm a little bit worried about them so I guess we'll see. I'm going to give it a little bit more time before I really start to panic, but I love my little privacy wall out there because I, I live on a cul-de-sac, so it's not like we have a ton of traffic coming through here. But in the summertime, everybody, everybody that lives in this neighborhood is out walking. Everybody. And they all come down the cul-de-sacs with their dogs and then my dogs lose their minds. And it just is, it's just such a pain in the neck. Um, I, I want to put this here. I just want it somewhere, but I don't know where I want it. And I thought I wanted it there. I want it kind of far away from the artwork, but still on the page. Because it's cute. Uh, anyway, so everybody comes down the street and causes my dogs to lose their minds. And yeah, so... I like having my little privacy screen. 
and I always have the front door open because we have, you know, like that weather door or whatever. I always have that open with the with it wide, like so I get the the breeze from the front to the back. And Sophie spends all of her time standing at that door up on her little tippy toes, looking out, doing the wiggle butt dance at everybody that goes by and just saying hello. And I can tell you that that is not fun when you're just got home from work and you're trying to sleep. So what did I do with them? I just had it here. Oh, here it is. You finished putting my top threes down. Uh, this one I'll put up here. Another one at the top. And then this one we can go underneath because I know what I'm going to do here since I messed up and I put the, the double box at the bottom. I'm going to put, I'm going to find some quotes, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to put this one here. And I'll turn that one into a quote box. That's Sunday. We have some things going on. Some things going on on that day. Um. So my hospital, if you're like on Facebook, you might see stuff, but if you ever, if you are curious, which, you know, I don't imagine if you don't work up here, you probably aren't going to be super curious about it, but I work for um, Providence Hospital and they've been posting quite a bit about the upcoming strike and this, no, oh, actually it's here. Oh, oh my goodness. It's here. <laughs> this day is when if they don't come to some type of an agreement is when we're walking out so and it feels weird like it is so weird to think that we're just gonna walk off the job it's not I've I've just never I was a part of a strike years ago um, in California but I wasn't working that day that it happened so I you know you just show up and you grab your little picket sign and you do your thing and then you know uh, you hope that they all come to an agreement and you can go back to work because what we really want to do is take care of our patients. You know, we don't want to be on strike, obviously, but <clears throat> this time it's like at two in the afternoon. So people are going to have to just leave, <laughs> just leave. And it's just so weird to me to, for that to happen. And you just, so at two o'clock, everybody's just going to meet up and walk out. And it's just, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's not, not what we want, but it's what you got to do, right? It's what you got to do when you're tired of being somebody that they step on to make them billions of dollars. I'm not going to go into a whole political rant. It's like a two second thing, but they make billions, billions and billions of dollars. And their executives makes, make their executives make hundreds of thousands of dollars just in bonuses alone, not even to mention there, you know, it's funny because when you're, when you're going through all of this and, and people are digging up all this information and putting it out there and it's all public record, but you don't tend to go looking for that stuff unless there's a reason to go looking for it. And when we went looking for it, I was like, Oh my gosh, how much money these guys make from us. And they, they won't even, uh, I don't really want to get into it anyway. Back to the planner. Back to the planner. It just gets my blood pressure going. <laughs> and I just, I just don't want to, I just don't want to deal with it. Anyway, this is the day. That's the day. So I'm going to put some, I ripped my sticker. I'm going to put something here because that's, that's the big day. And I need something to, I think I'll do one of these boxes right here. So I have somewhere to put the information because I also need to write down like where we're meeting and like tonight is the town hall. So um, I'm going to join it online, the town hall meeting and figure out exactly like where we're meeting and what we're doing and you know, that kind of stuff. So I'll put some information here. For the strike stuff. And I'm going to, where are they? I'm going to put one of these here. Which one do I want? Mm, let's do the light pink one. That one there. And then I'm going to put that there. And then I want to put one of these big ones up here. 
think I could just put it in the middle. Monday, done. Tuesday. This is weird, really weird, because I'm supposed to be working these days, and I'm I'm really, really hopeful, like I have all my fingers and toes crossed that they come to an agreement and we can go to work like normal. So I'm gonna put my work labels down because like I said, I got I got all the fingers and toes crossed that this is gonna get resolved before we actually have to walk out because I'm telling you, the amount of stress that all of my coworkers and I, there's like almost 500 of us are going through with the thought of just walking out and leaving our nurses and our doctors and our patients is just like, oh my gosh, you have no idea. You have no idea. When you actually love what you do and you love the people that you work with, it's really hard to just leave them hanging and just walk out. Anyway, oh, I forgot to add these too. Ah, could have used those. Those are so cute too. I don't have any room for them anymore. Oh, I do. I do. We're going to put little little leafy up here. We might find some quotes because I'm counting on you guys. Find me some strawberry chocolate quotes and I can put them in these boxes. Something happy and peppy to boost the mood. That's what I need. That is definitely what I need. Okay, let's finish off the last of the boxes. Uh-oh, dad's home from the store and so the dogs are losing their minds. No, guys, don't do it. I might have to walk away and go open the door because they're not gonna be they're not gonna be quiet as long as he's going in and out with the groceries. Hang on one second, let me go open the door. Okay guys, okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh say hi. Oh say hi. Go on. Oh say hi. Bye. <laughs> they're just like they are so excited. To be a dog, right? To be a dog that's well cared for and loved, I should say. I don't know if I'd want to be a dog. Some of these, some of these shows or um, commercials that I see just make my heart hurt. And have you seen all the ones with Keanu Reeves where he's just like holding up these signs about, you know, um, basically, basically all he's talking about is dogs and how awesome dogs are and how crappy people are. And they always like make my heart hurt when I think of, or I see those other ones where somebody just like abandoned one I just like if I could do it if I could physically do it I would have 10 acres and I would have like anybody that didn't want a dog I'd be like bring it just bring it just bring it I will take care of it until it finds it until I find it a new home or um it passes on whichever comes first like I will love it until the end of its little days because it just like boils my it, it boils my it just makes me so angry when people take in pets or get pets and then get rid of them. It's like, what are you doing? Right? What are you doing? Which is one of the reasons why I'm really glad that my kids, the only one of my kids that um, has an animal right now, well, my, my daughter does, but she doesn't count because she's like all grown up and she's got a, her family and whatever. And she's, she loves cats. She's got about a billion cats. But anyway, my son, he has a cat. He brought it with him from California to here. And you've heard me complain about Sam. Now, no matter how much I complain about Sam, he still gets snuggle kitty, kitty, kitty snuggles and kisses, even though he's a pain in the neck. He really is a pain in the neck. I still love him because, you know, he's, he's actually pretty adorable. He's just a pain. Okay, that's looking really cute, really cute. And then I'm gonna put a couple of labels here. Like I said, I really don't know what's happening this week, so it's kind of hard to judge like what days I'm gonna be on the at, at the strike and what days I'm gonna be home. And then we got the sale starting this day. So I did sign up for the strike days all the way up until here. So I can be out there on these days, but I did take these ones for myself. And I won't be out there on those days because I need to be here for like sale stuff and prep. And this is like super close to when um, subscriptions come out. So I need to make sure all that stuff is packaged and ready to go. So I'm not going to be there every day. Not every day. Some of my coworkers, though, they are going to be there every single day. And I, I am so proud of them. So proud. Okay, this one here. You know me, I'm just throwing down boxes and I'll put anything I feel like. One of these might even just be trash because that's trash day. I think I'm going to put another label here. Let's do a chocolate one. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to tell you guys about before. Actually, we can do two things here. We'll do this. 
and this because we've got a lot of them. Let's do another one of these. Does it kind of match it? No, that's too it's too close. Way too close. Let's just hang on to that one for later. Um I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you about during this little time with me. I know it's kind of all over the place. New collection, it's kind of long, but hopefully I got everything out that I could possibly get out for you guys so that you know exactly what's going on. Um, of all the times for me to just run out of ideas for what I want to put where, how about we put this one... Oh, I know what I'll do. I'm going to do this here. And labels. Do I have enough room? Just. Nope, not really. Nope, definitely not really. I thought. That's another one of my weird pet peeves is I hate it when I put stickers on top of stickers. And you know my absolute undying love for Brandy. And she is like just, oh God, I love her so much. Um, Brandy Plans, if you're not already subscribed, go head over there and subscribe to her. She's one of my PR girls, but also one of my dear, dear friends. She is a, she is a sticker layer. <laughs> like if I'm doing it on purpose, that's one thing. But if stuff is like not fitting and I just kind of layer it on top, I hate that. I just can't, can't handle it. It's not, it's not okay. So like in my brain is just like, no, mm -mm, that's not where that goes. And yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't like it. Uh, I think I'm just going to put this guy here. The other thing I noticed is that I did not put down my movie marquee, but I'm pretty sure that we are going to be watching it here. So maybe I could put it over here. She's not going to fit there, but let's see. Um, we started watching Fallout. If you are not watching it, if you, if you're, have ever played video games in the past, you um, would probably know, obviously know this one, Fallout. Oh man, this is going to be a nightmare pulling this off. So the paper underneath is ripping. The sticker just ripped. Ugh, what a mess. What a mess. Anyway, back to Fallout. Uh, it was a video game, a very popular video game that they turned into a TV show because that's the new thing now is to turn all old video games into TV shows. And they did a really good job, like a really good job. And the other thing is you don't have to have ever played the game to like this. So if you like like sci-fi kind of stuff and it, you would, I think you would really like it. I do. Let's see. I'm just murdering my page right now. Just just so you know. I'm just murdering it. It's, it's whatever. I'm already there. It's already happening. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's awful. Absolutely awful. Anyway, <laughs> my husband and I are watching it together. And it's really fun. It's really, really fun. Super violent. Not for kids. Just say. Don't watch it with the kids. Unless your kids are older and can handle that kind of stuff. Definitely do not watch it with the children, but that's where that's going to go. And that looks terrible. You know, I'm going to mess with that later because I can't handle it. I'm going to straighten it out and put um, like a half of a, like a half of a divider in there. Cause I can't, that's too much, like too much ugly right there. I have all of these dividers, which we can, if you've ever seen me do this before, I'm going to do it right now is I'll take a divider and then I take my little surgical knife and I cut them in half and I put them in places like this, where I have like extra space, like there's too much space between there and there. So I'll take them and cut them in half and then fill in that extra little spot. So I'm gonna do that here and then I gotta figure out something up here. So those two things are gonna happen, but I'm not gonna make you sit through it because I don't, oh, you know what, label. Label, how about a green one? Let's do a green label up here. And then I'll also do the same thing up here. So we'll do the label and we'll do the other half of this and then I'm gonna fix that, but I'll fix it offline. There, 
cute, huh? It's so cute. I love the way this looks. It's so adorable. Just need my quote boxes and then we are good to go. And then I'll put in all my little icons and stuff later. When I actually start filling this one out, it is ready to go. What do you think? It's cute. I'm really excited about this collection and about the sale. So if you guys are not already subscribed to the Facebook group, I can talk. Yep. Words are hard right now. If you're not already subscribed to the Facebook group, all of my links to everything are down below. The Etsy shop, the subscription shop, the Facebook group, the Instagram, all the things are down below so that you can find me um, pretty much anywhere. But uh, if you aren't already subscribed to the Facebook group, subscribe to it because that is where you're going to get most of your information first. Instagram is second. YouTube is usually the slower because it takes me longer to do this. But anyway, um, yeah. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Leave those quotes down below and I will see you again on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye.